the rich and the famous bullshit. Bullshit. You like that? Right at the beginning. Anyway, Pony Diamond here, and uh, I know I'm repeating myself like 10,000 times regarding uh, we're trying to settle in. But anyway, uh, today we're on our way to somewhere in Seattle to go buy this couch. It's supposed to cost me like four to five, four to five thousand dollars. <laughs> uh, so I can't wait to see this fucker. Other than that, we're gonna roll in uh, with this the ball is the beast. <laughs> I can't wait to see. Uh, you know, I don't know if the if they see when you pull up, what kind of car you pull up. I think they work on a commission, these people. So it'd be kind of funny. It's always funny taking a Hyundai out and, uh, you know, people kind of think you're small time. <laughs> anyway, look, I um, kind of want to talk about um, something I've been thinking about for a while. I would do some of these along the way. Uh, something about don't listen to other people, you know. Do not listen to other people. And I have two stories to tell you guys about that I kind of missed the boat and it's really simple it's because I was dumb and was listening was listening to other people uh, other than that you're coming along for the ride uh, let's see you love Lamborghinis <laughs> hey, subscribe you love uh, supercars hey, subscribe <coughs> of course if you love uh, super trucks hey, subscribe <coughs> and of course if you love entrepreneurship Entre uh, entrepreneurship, mentoring, that kind of stuff. Keep it down in the comments. Other than that, check out the last video as well, uploaded last night, the uh, week three recap. Other than that, hit subscribe. Do it. <laughs>
<laughs> I fucking missed the boat, clearly, right? Because now I gotta get it monetized, all that bullshit, when it wasn't like that in the beginning, and I could have stopped my channel already. And I didn't do that because I was listening to some other people who they think they're smart. So I'm listening to them. I won't name any names or exactly anybody, anyone, but that's kind of what happened when you listen to people instead of uh, draw your own conclusion or realize yourself what, what opportunity, uh, you know, this whole YouTube channel is. Uh, interesting facts for you guys. Um, this restaurant right here it used to be my dad's uh, fried chicken place right in the food court and now it's a Thai restaurant again uh, the memory lane and I'm about to show you guys the red Thai restaurant that my dad uh, used to own it's right here now it looks like what the hell is this <laughs> the bench is still here though <laughs> that's so funny that was here it's now a gift store so this used in fact it used to be from here all the way to here all the way to this whole thing it's my dad's restaurant and over here used to be the German restaurant <laughs> now is a uh, Find, find gifts. And this is my favorite bathroom. My favorite toiletry. More Fred House Square memory lane. So I used to come out here to take a little bit of break from my uh, dad. <laughs> Sometimes he could be uh, a handful. <laughs> you know, I don't know, man, you work with your dad, but you're gonna butt heads, you know? It's like, it's like the thing to butt heads on. And they were just in the beginning of building the transit, actually. So that's the parking here, too, right there. So anyway, I used to be out here hanging out but holy shit it's starting to smell like sewer it smelled then and smells now mm. mm -hmm. mm. mm. alright guys so this is some sort of um stir fry noodle oyster your lady who sold me this shit right here she got a butt face I won't bomb her because I can't do that but she got a butt face. So yeah, it's uh, you know, like I said, you don't want to listen to anybody, right? You want to listen to yourself, you know. Most of the time, your instincts will tell you if you're doing, looking at the right thing, right opportunity. You know what I'm saying? And let's be honest, man. I, I kind of miss a YouTube ball, and I kick myself in the ass every fucking day. I, you know, I, I had two R Audi R8s. I had a Huracan. I have a. Uh, fucking three, four Nissan Z's before I had the exotics. So well, guess what? I, I, I should have already fucking did it. <laughs> but uh, that's that's when they didn't have any monetization, you know what I mean? Thousand subscribers and a whole thousand, four thousand hour bullshit and now they do and I'm fucked. I should say I'm fucked but I just say that it makes it harder. Some of these bigger YouTubers, they already, you know, kind of plant the, the flag, right? <laughs> Oh man, let's uh, check out the bridge. So anyway, you know, I kind of do this throughout the whole trip. I figured why just why sit around in the room and talk about it, right? And do road trip like today, and you can get to know some, you know, a little side of my story as well. I'm standing in the parking structure where uh, I used to, you know, I used to drive over there, those bridge over there, delivering the Thai food and shit, you know, for my dad. So this is like the whole Tacoma city right here that uh, I'm very familiar with. Um, I think the Green River or some bullshit over there. I think, I could be wrong. It's been a long time. <laughs> Green River, <laughs> killer and shit. 
but yeah anyway so that's the one story you know like I said the whole YouTube channel I kind of missed the the boat you know and I'm kicking myself in the ass fucking fucking almost every day you know so here I am trying to get it going as you already know and I appreciate all you guys you know being a part of it even though it's not that big yet I wonder how it feels like to have something like 10,000 subscribers and then become 50,000 I wonder if I'm gonna still have time to respond to all of you guys <laughs> I like to respond though I'm gonna always try to let's check out this view one more time though hmm it's from another angle right now so here's the train tracks right there yeah <sighs> And you got uh, kind of like the the valley over there. More on the parking structures. I guess this whole train, the Dome Station train thing, is pretty serious. They didn't have this at the time when I was here. Remember, guys, <laughs> that was uh, when it was like 1999 when I was here. You know, this 2020. Fuck, dude. How long has it been? 20 years, right? Can't believe it's fucking been 20 years, man. Ooh. Oh shit! So I'm in Seattle. Smack in Seattle. I think I passed the stadium. The 12 man stadium. And I'm uh, just standing here because we're lost. Look for this place called something Elmer. Sofa. Mm. I like it. Let's get more Seattle than this, man. We're smack in the middle of Seattle. You're in a way forced to be 12, man. I'm a Raider guy. Fuck. <laughs> okay, so the other thing, I know we're looking for sofas and shit, but the other thing that I want to kind of mention to you guys is the uh, the whole Bitcoin phenomenon. Uh, you know, again, I was listening to other pundits or other people that they, they think they're smart, you know? And I miss that boat, which is the the whole supply and demand. My business is all about supply and demand. And technically, it doesn't need to be tied to anything. <laughs> I'll give you an example. Like when uh, Google bought out uh, YouTube for 100 mi 500 million, uh, a lot of these old timers are like, uh, what the, you know, uh, they were, confused to why uh, YouTube got bought for 500 million and they, they couldn't understand, for the life of them they could not understand why and I'm sitting there now I didn't finish high school but you know I'm sitting there and I'm like that's the most brilliant shit ever and at the time I was like what's wrong with these old farts can't understand like why it's cost 500 million it's really simple it's because of the the the, uh, the audience that's what it is is the audience shit that would be it's the audience of, um, you know, that that's the new class of assets these days, you know. It's not just, it used to be your, your traditional revenues and and uh, assets, right? Now the assets are obviously the, the memberships, you know, the amount of users that are on the platform. And at the time they were, you know, they were blowing up hard, YouTube, right? So then, at the, so now, those old farts are sitting there like in front of the CNBC panel like we just don't understand why and I'm just like oh, am I the only asshole who understands this because it's 500 million for a reason because that's it you know what I mean yes they haven't made shit yet but they're about to which is the ad revenues that are coming on and they probably already foreseen the whole Netflix phenomenon with the series and guess what now they got their own YouTube uh series right like the karate kid uh thing that they were doing you know the one where they uh, they and your son's the bad guy <laughs> and there's a couple more uh, you know the series now but at the time those old farts could not understand why and i and i'm i'm sitting there i'm just like wow they're dumb man like i already knew there was gonna be a huge uh, cash cow because they got the, the the users that are on the platform and that is a new class of assets that a lot of these old farts, you know, have have to understand, have to learn, I guess, because most of those guys are all used to the revenues and the assets, the traditional revenue and assets, and these 
these guys just don't understand any of that, you know, social media and the whole YouTube phenomenon. Um, there it is right there. What's on? Uh, camera person. <laughs> okay, I guess we can park anywhere around here. And there's a Thai restaurant right there. We fucking be here. <laughs> oh shit, doggy. Seattle, Seattle. If you come to Seattle. It's the wrong song. Wrong city for the song. Whatever. It's kind of cool though. So as I was saying earlier, uh, the whole YouTube thing is uh, pretty interesting because that's the you know transaction that happened, and now YouTube <laughs> it's like one of the, the one of the biggest uh, media platform, right? But anyway, so back to the whole Bitcoin bullshit. <sighs> there was a time when I first heard about Bitcoin. I think it was like two dollars, dude, a coin. I could have easily threw down ten grand, just like a fucking dummy. I didn't, because I, you know, half the people say this is stupid. So it's a, it's a, it's a hoax. <laughs> and the other half of people just simply play the. Uh, it's like a roulette, you know, and it is roulette. Sometimes you ask yourself if you can afford fucking 10 grand because you're going to sp spend 10 grand all the time. Why not just uh, have it here? So here's a sofa place. Am I saying it right? Sofa? It's not sofa place. It's an interior furniture store. Yeah. It's a little more upscale than a furniture store. Some sort of uh, the rich and the famous bullshit. This is it right here. and famous. I always wanted one, one of this. So I was told this would be the sofa. Not this color though. I'm not feeling the color. It looks like yard set. I'm gonna go left with it right here. Mango. Hmm. Mango right here. Mango. All right, guys. So just want to close this clip uh, real fast. Man, I was falling asleep driving with my wife. I told her let me pull over real quick. Close this clip. Yeah. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video today. You know, I actually showed you guys some of the memory lane. I worked there 1999. It's been 20 years, man, for my dad. He had a Thai restaurant. But before you start thinking that, uh, yeah, he had a rich dad bullshit. No, it's not true. My dad started on a shoestring budget. It didn't work out. So I <laughs> left the whole deal. You know. But back to my whole reason for this uh, today's video, okay, I'm glad you enjoyed the scenery, but I want to talk, you know, my final thought about today is that, um, look, I missed two of the uh, big, big uh, opportunities, you know, one being the YouTube, and didn't have the mon monetization back then, and I should have already started my shit, you know, and I didn't. I had a talk with my uh, Savage Kirk one time from... Uh, Instagram and I explained to him that he should start his own channel because you know what you don't have shit right now. It's perfect So I started this channel <laughs> with the Venado S roaster and it's really, you know, kind of losing a lot of uh, uh, Interesting, you know, build up, you know, anyway, so the point of it is that I missed the YouTube boat The second was Bitcoin. Bitcoin. I fucking knew about it when it was like guys when it was like one dollar coin, dude I could have easily threw like 10 fucking grand into it. I do it all the time with some other bullshit. I just listen to some fucking assholes that have probably didn't really care about my success to begin with. So the idea is of this video is to put this idea into you guys now. Because the How to Make Money in the Stock Market series coming out. And I kind of want you guys to prep you guys for that. But... The point I'm trying to make right now is that do not listen to anyone except yourself, you know? And that's what I wanted to bring my point across, okay? So anyway, I want to thank you. You guys for giving my channel a chance. I appreciate it a lot, man. Um, other than that, hit the... If you love Lamborghini, hit subscribe. 
If you love uh, supercars, hit subscribe. <laughs> of course, if you love sup uh, super trucks, don't forget to uh, hit subscribe. <laughs> and of course, entrepreneurship, mentorship, bullshit like that. Like always, don't hesitate to hit subscribe. If you already hit subscribe, thank you. If you haven't, fucking hit subscribe now, then do it.